Yes, hello. Welcome to my short introduction to Glitchcore. So Glitchcore is a new app by Alex. And um, yeah, you can see it is pretty straightforward. We have a pet here with uh, 16 steps and um, also we have uh, 16 different positions and um, this means that if you simply want to draw a line then um, you can see this is um, coming from the first step to the 16th step in 16th notes and um, the position on the x-axis is the position, position in time and um, the position in the y-axis is uh, the sample from the from the sample so the, the part which you will hear and um, so at the moment nothing is running and therefore the the input yeah, which is filtered here just from digistics uh, is empty there is nothing coming in so uh, there is nothing to be played if you play something then it's simply filling up the, uh, the strip here uh, the waveform and then uh, you will hear the sound and without any anything activated here it simply goes from from the first to the second six, 16 step and after um, i have activate for example this element here you see it is going through the matrix and if you go here then you see this is just looping inside this step which I have selected, you can move it of course and you can make it longer, shorter, you can snap it to the beat and everything like that. You can have a glitch uh, which is simply following the element here in this glitch strip, glitch strip. and um, yeah, yeah. It is following the waveform on the x-axis and it's coming to shorter glitches if you go higher and longer glitches if you go lower. So then uh, you have a reverse button then the waveform goes in the right direction and uh, you have a freeze button where you can freeze this if you have live input for example then you can freeze whatever 16 um, 16 four bars you want to freeze and of course you have a settings where you can set up different things like uh, the wave resolution or if you snap it to the grid for the for the loop you can make this a uh, little bit battery saving uh, with the echo render and of course uh, you can select different other things like if you want to trigger the next pattern if you run in, in uh, sequence mode or you want to um, mutate the next pattern so this is uh, just to uh, randomize uh, the next pattern uh, on the way through the patterns and of course you can repeat the pattern several times you can play it one you can play it um, twice and you can play it as long as you want just to make it a little bit controllable uh, what you will get so these elements are partly available here you can randomize the pattern and you can yeah simply switch the sequence to the next pattern on and off and you can shift 
the pattern completely to the uh, up and down you can shift it left and right and of course you can also copy it to another pattern and um, you can also get this copied back as a initial So there are also many many presets available so for example if you go for init then you will get exactly that so you can you can randomize it and then you simply init then you will get everything as it is basically set up for the good start and of course as i shown before you can also delete the whole pattern with one tap. This is basically um, how it works and um, if you feed in some audio like I do from Digistics here then you can see the waveform is filling up. I have a you know, four bar loop, 16, 16th notes, and to demonstrate how the loop is working, you can so and then um, if you see this is somehow the you can have the same effect like the loop. This is exactly this position, and uh, therefore you can you can simply go for for example the four on the floor. You can also. generally develop own pattern with a given input and um, it depends on the position here which kind of uh, part of the of the whole stream is played. And um, yeah, if you go here, then you can see it is goes going through the pattern. And if you simply select always the same step, then it's similar to looping. And with a randomize, you can simply take all of the 16 nodes to play it. shift the pattern, you can shift it left, you can shift it right, and it's always uh, a new combination. And uh, if, you, if you want to go through this pattern, then you simply activate it here, and then it steps through the eight patterns which you have available. You can stop it every time, you can select it immediately again so if you if you prepare the pattern um, as you like then you can have a whole song built up with eight uh, patterns and then um, play it one after the other with a copy pattern uh, functionality you can you can have uh, for example the first and the fifth pattern the same and uh, then you have uh, the one two three four and then the one Six, seven, eight, for example. You can um, and have a lot more fun if you go here and glitch 
or use the glitch strip for um, really fantastic glitching effects. Like uh, you can go on the timeline of the wave and you can see, okay, this is pretty much uh, 16th note. So if you go up, it's increasing the tempo, so the frequency of the glitch. And of course you can go more down and then the loop, the loop length is somehow extended. Well, you can you can latch this glitch and you can play reverse also with glitching of course and if you have a live signal coming in you can freeze it so in that case it yeah it isn't only <coughs> to see um, if you switch it off And of course you have to activate some of the elements here because otherwise you only hear the input. Yeah, so you can use all different kinds of audio inputs of course. And um, yeah, the effect is always remarkable. So I completely love this way of operating the glitch strip just by moving the finger around. And um, as you might guess, all of that is completely automatical with uh, parameters from glitch. Here you can have all these different parameters like loop position, loop end, loop start. You can make the glitch uh, on and off. You can you can have, uh, for example, this freeze uh, button, the reverse button. You have the glitch slice to move um, up and down. You can you can you can also have this um, grid pattern from uh, one to zero, uh, one to eight. And directly selectable so you can you can put for example all this pattern to buttons on your uh, MIDI controller to um, just select from the MIDI controller which pattern has to be played and of course you can you can randomize uh, on a button you can trigger a pattern you can yeah, you can have everything like that here in the in the settings Yeah, that's basically it and um, thanks for watching and hope you like it.